What's going on guys? Winter Kills here. Welcome to a brand new test hand video. Uh it's definitely been a while since I've made one of these. Um I've got a little bit of a different setup today. Uh what do I mean by that? The 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 mic audio on my camera that I always use for these videos is um well, let's just say it's not good. Uh that's why I'm using my actual mic to record this, so hopefully it sounds better. Um, and I hope it makes the video better. Um, also tried to make the lighting a little better. Uh, so hopefully that, hopefully this looks better than the, um, the combo video I did last time. Cause that was, a, that was a train wreck admittedly. Um, and I do apologize for that. That was, um, I, uh, I probably shouldn't have made that combo video just because a, I didn't have any new original combos and I just I just really couldn't come up with any combos I kind of just don't like the concept of combo videos anymore I just don't think it's like a viable thing to do just because like a test hand video is always going to be able to just be better because you know yeah you know that the certain combos when they come around but you know if do do they ever come around in an actual game um you know it's not as realistic as a real game because you know in a real game you have you know all of your cards in your hand not just two or three but regardless end that little rant we're gonna do a test hand video though today i'm probably gonna do uh since it's like the most requested thing from the poll we did it was like over 200 votes and uh a majority of you guys voted for ddd stuff and test hand most of all uh so we're gonna do a test hand video and we're going to do it on Mermails, of course. Uh, and we're going to start our first test hand right after I finish shuffling. So once I'm done shuffling, we'll go ahead and start our first test hand. Okay, first hand is ready to be drawn. Here we go. I'll put my deck up here in the top left. It might be a little out of frame, uh, but I just want to make sure I don't have, you know, limited space. I want as much space as I can while keeping everything in frame. So let's see what we draw here. Monster Reborn, a Swap Frog, and yeah, I added the Swap Frog engine again because I changed my extra deck a bit to add two Toads and two Bahamut because I think that's a little better. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll just quit Yu-Gi-Oh then. Um, so there's if we're going first. Um, so, yeah. All right, we're going to have to do if we go second because if we don't, we literally can't do anything other than set our boy. Uh, you know, we could we could summon this guy. Right? We could send Reborn. And now at that point, we're wasting our Monster Reborn to go into a totally awesome. Um, but I guess, you know, at that point... Actually, we could normal Swap Frog, send uh, Swap Frog, Reborn the other Swap Frog, and then use that Swap Frog's effect to send um, the... Uh, not the Dupe Frog, but... Or Ronin, send Ronin Toten. And then we can make a Toad. Uh, I guess that's not terrible, but I'd rather just draw into a second, uh, card and see what happens, because that way we can use more A of Greed now, so we'll use the more A of Greed. These are still in our hand down here, keep them down towards the very bottom. Um, I'm gonna have to flip this video upside down, um, because I hate playing upside down for these videos, it's just like, I, cause how my camera setup is, so I have to actually, like, flip the video in Premiere, so... Let's shuffle this up. We need to draw three more cards and add them to our Regeki, our Solemn Judgment, our Monster Reborn. I'm hoping for a Neptibus um, and like a Megalo or something, or just something to get a, a, a starter card is really what we need. I mean, it, it just comes down to that. Not a starter. There's a starter. All right, well, I said we needed Prince, and it gave me two, so it must be listening to me today, the card gods. All right, so now we have this. Let's take inventory. Like I said, we still got Regeki, and at this point, we're still going second, so there's always the variable of, like, what does our opponent have? Uh, you know, at this point in the game, they probably have hand traps, they probably have set stuff, uh, depending on what we're playing against, but they're definitely a hand trap or two to expect. But in this case, let's hope they don't have a hand trap, or we're just royally screwed. Uh, we'll start with Neptibus. Um, if I'm going second, I'm going to just gear more towards damage, right? That's just, I feel like that's just a logical thing. Obviously, it's always dependent on what the opponent has, um, which is why I can't wait to get some more duel videos in uh, tomorrow when I go to locals. It's Sunday tomorrow. Get some uh, duels in. Uh, and then we'll send our Dragoons, of course, and then I'm going to add a Megalo, and I'm going to add our Dragoons. 
And it's actually pretty cool that we got to draw into another uh, Neptibus because now we can use that uh, to our advantage. Because um, we can use its discard effect right now if we wanted to. I'm going to save the Lind in hand just because like, I don't feel a need to discard it to the graveyard. Uh, it sucks that our, our sphere is now not live because, well, we drew into this. So I'm going to summon Megalo now and uh, discard uh, the Prince and the Dragoons. And we'll go, we have to do Megalo 3 and then Prince 2, Dragoons 1. So we'll search. Hopefully they don't have. Um, well, at this point, it's like, do I even search the sphere? I guess we do just to get it out of the deck. Uh, and then we'll summon this other Dragoons here. And then we will search another water monster. Uh, it's gotta be a sea serpent that's right let's see uh, like I was gonna add Moolin but there's zero point to do that I have this obsession with Moolin sometimes I need to get over it um, but for like most damage you know to get on board I can see us you know getting a sea serpent search here so we could actually get another Megalo. Let's do that. We're going to be able to do that. And then we add uh, we added Sphere. We reborn. And then we use Megalo to tribute this. And then we use Dragoon's Effect to search another card. Another Sea Serpent. Um, and then I guess we will add... What other Sea Serpent do we have? We'll add Infantry. Um, just because maybe we'll pop a monster they have on their side of the field, right? Or a clear field spell, or a face-up card, something like that. Keep it simple, right? No fancy tricks here, just plain old mermails. Uh, and then we'll discard the Lind and the Infantry. Uh, and then we can use uh, Infantry and Lind, or not Lind, we can just use Infantry to pop. And then if we wanted to, again, we could use the uh, Megalo effect to tribute this, and um, have him attack twice as well. But we have Monster Reborn in hand, so that brings up an extra avenue of play. Um, so we could Reborn anything in our graveyard right now. And what do I want to do? What do I want to Reborn? That's a good question. I have to... And we have the Raigeki, so might as well just Raigeki whatever is on their field. So we'll just theoretically use the Raigeki. And at the point, if they have nothing to stop the attack, that's 24-24... Uh, 24 and 24 if we tribute the Neptibus, so that's, you know, 48 and 48, which is, you know, definitely a game that's 9,600. Um, but, like, I think the only other thing I'm gonna do is, like, just reborn the Dragoons, summon that, and then tribute the Dragoons off with the other Megalo, just to get another search for the next turn. Maybe grab, uh, Diva just for the next turn. And then we can set Sphere and... and Judgment. And if they don't have anything to stop that, that's, that's end up being game. We have some sustain, so that turned out to be a pretty good turn. Started off looking terrible, um, but in the end it worked out, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle again, and uh, we'll do another test hand here in just a moment. Boom. Okay, let's do another test hand. Let's put the deck up here as always, and then we'll draw into five, and then if need six. So it looks like we're gonna go first this time. Oh my god. Alright, I guess I'll just draw into all waters then. That that works too. Uh so we have the fraud like I'm just gonna go through this how I would, and then of course, as always, you know, uh you guys could tell me what I either did wrong in your opinion or what you would have done. Um, I'm sure I've already screwed up something uh, in, in somebody's eyes, but, you know, that's just how it is out here. You know it's tough on these streets. Um, so, like, I could go with the frog engine um, to start, but I don't want to do that. I do not want to start with frog, just because, like, these are our two starters, right? Who am I going to pick in this situation? I'm going to go with Neptibus, because it's going to be a better normal summon. I think it's going to be a stronger normal summon. And if that fails, then I guess I have a really bad turn. But, uh, like, I could start with Swap, right? Summon him, maybe discard Aqua Spirit, and then send. 
and try to bait out a hand trap, right? Um, but then after that, even if they don't hand trap, I still have like the next summon this and then they hand or whatever. We'll just start with uh, we'll keep it simple, and just go Neptibus. Good old Neptibus. We could do like actually uh, a pretty decent combo here. Now that we have um, Teus and uh, Prince. Like this could actually turn out to be a very very good combo. Which is super awesome because I actually want to do a good combo here. This is like what I mean by taking those combos in the combo video and applying them to how they'd actually work in a real hand. Um, and it's just the Teus Naptibus combo that we've seen in the past, which was like ended in double firewall, shark toad, uh, and like something else. Like it just applies here and it in real real life, I guess is the the way I'd put it um so neptibus and dragoons add dragoons and megalo and then we're going to summon teus here teus going to discard dragoons and then we're going to add gund and prince i believe that's how it goes prince off the nept or not off the neptibus off the dragoons and then i'm going to add gund off of our teus also at some points if i use if I opt to use some cards over others, it might just because I'm more familiar with using the, the card that I chose over the other. Like the Toad play could have been better, but I'm just more familiar with just Neptibus Strat, so uh, I'm, I'm going to go with the Neptibus Strat first, obviously. Uh, so I apologize if this was just a way better play to start off with. But uh, Also, another change I made to the deck is I'm, I'm bleh, running a Kaiju engine as well. So... That is in there. Just one slumber and I think three kaijus because it's. I just think it's too good not to run. There's so many cards that are problematic that need to be cleared. Uh, anyways, we are now going to link into our first link monster of the video. Woo wee! How exciting! We'll link into this guy. Can't really see him. There we go. We'll link into that guy. So there's a zone here. So zone here, zone here, zone here, zone here, zone here. One, two, three, four, five. So we have those are five zones. Let's see. So now our next play is going to be to summon the Megalo, summon underneath the Proxy Dragon, and then we'll discard Prince and uh, Gund like that. And then we will go Gund 3, just to save him from hand drafts, Megalo 2, Teus 1, or not Teus, uh, Prince 1. So now I'm going to summon Teus off of Dragoons, put him there, uh, and then I am going to summon the Dragoons off of the Prince, and the, I'm doing it out of order, I know, but uh, it doesn't really matter too much. In a game, I would have done it in order, but this is just a test hand video, so it's okay. It's okay. All right. Next, uh, so basically would have just been first summon Teus, search sphere, then summon dragoons. That's the, that would have been the correct order. I just did it out of order because I uh, I like to break the rules, as you guys know. Uh, so proxy dragon. Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna link into a link three with proxy dragon and dragoons. And I believe we're gonna go into deco talker because we're supposed to make a rank seven here. Uh, depending also. I guess what we could have done here is uh, at some point got an Abyss Manor to Grave and made a rank 8 here. Could have done that as well. So we were going into Decode Talker, if I'm not mistaken. Put him in that same spot in the fourth zone. We're going to go from left to right. Uh, if it's, I hope it's not backwards. Yeah, left to right or right to left. You guys, it's right to left for you, I would think, um, based on the videos flipped. Um, and then we're going to do this, and then go to this, detach both, and then we get five tokens. I'm just going to use, uh, I guess I'll use my side deck card tokens. So this is the third zone, second, first, fourth, and fifth, just like that. I know they're black sleeves, they're kind of hard to see, I apologize. Uh, so now I'm going to link a token and uh tomahawk for a proxy dragon not a proxy but a proxy dragon put him here just like that and then i'm going to i believe now link the deco talker and a token 
take that token, put it over there. For a firewall dragon, put that there. And then take our token in my second spot uh, and go into a link spider. Put him back up there in that same extra monster zone that we've been using. So now we have our fifth spot, our fourth, our third, our second, and our first. Our second spot is open, and so is our fifth. Uh, so now we still have the infantry, the swap frog, and the aqua spirit in hand. And what do we have in grave here? I know you, it's hard to see my grave, but we have Deco Talker, Tomahawk, Teus Megalo, Proxy Dragon, Dragoons, Gund, two Naptibus, and another Dragoons. Uh, so we definitely have some things to work with here, as you know. Uh, we could use Firewall Dragon's effect at this point to grab two things and bring them to our hand, which I'm probably going to do. It's not a it's not a question of if, it's when. What do I want to grab, though? Uh, if we're going first, I want to set up some sort of defense, defensive play. I think I'm going to add Megalo and Gund back, because that'll help set up a rank 7. So I'm going to add Megalo and Gund. Um, actually... Before I even add that, we have six, or we have three, we have six, we have seven waters in grave. Let's see if I add this, and this will have five. And then I put two more on that seven, take one away, that's six. Don't think we'll be able to go for a, uh, a Moulin Glacier play right now. Uh, I just don't think it's possible. We have too many waters in grave. I, th I think that's just what it comes down to, perhaps. Uh, so I'm going to add Megalo and Gund, just so we can go into uh, perhaps a Teus. Not a Teus. Keep screwing it up. Uh, a Gaios. Gaios is what we, we can go into. Uh, and then I'm going to use Megalo, discarding um, Gund and Infantry. No search off Megalo, of course. We don't have any targets left. Only play Sphere. And then we'll go into Teus with a gun. I'm going to put this over here on the side of the Firewall Dragon. Because Firewall Dragon is probably going to be sticking around the most. Uh, out of the other Link monsters that are there. So we'll take that zone. We'll make our Gaios. And then... You know, I suppose... And this is, this is kind of good that I can kind of go back if I want to. Let's put a... We could do this play instead. Let's do this. Put this back in our hand. Put everything else back in the graveyard. Instead, let's add Dragoons to our hand and Megalo. Bear with me here. And then let's Link into another... Let's see here. What do we, what do we got left to Link into? We can go into Gaia Saber, Lightning Shadow, and a Mistar Boy. That's like our only other options. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go and link with this last token. And this dude, that in the graveyard. All of our tokens are now gone. So like we could have either done the Gaios or this version, which involves us uh, going into this. One thing left there, so we can summon this from our hand for free. And then, as you know, we still have Aqua Spirit in hand, so we can summon Aqua Spirit. And we'll banish an Eptibus, because we don't need two in there, really. And then we can overlay into our Bahamut Shark, one of them. Detach the Dragoons. Summon Toad over here. And then we will get a Search off Dragoons. And we can add... A sea serpent, so I think I'm going to go with, uh, Moon Glacia is still not an option, right? One, two, three, four. Moon Glacia is an option at this point. Wow, okay. I, I screwed it up a bit. Add Moon. That's actually really good. <laughs> Thought I screwed it up somewhere. Right now, we this is all we have in grave. We have a Dragoons, a Teus, and a Gun, so there's, uh, three, a Prince, and a Dragoons. And then we will, uh, of course, with the Moulin we added, summon that. And we're still able to end uh, with just Toad and, you know, Firewall and Shark and Moulin. 
you know, still pretty good without the second firewall. We don't really need the second firewall uh, because we had the aqua spirit in hand. So that's why we didn't need it. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't need the second one to summon another monster from our hand. And uh, we still have a sphere, which is really good. I think, did we open Lind? Uh, is Lind in here? No, Lind. So we still have the Lind play we can do. So we just set that. We still have the swap frog uh, for next turn if we didn't want to go for a t uh, frog play. So that's a pretty good turn, if you ask me. Uh, but please, if I still screwed something up, let me know in the comments. I, I want to learn new things. So that's it for this test hand. We'll go do another test hand. I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle again, uh, as you may have expected. All right, we're all ready to do this next test hand. Test hand number three. Let's see what we draw into. Moray of Greed. So far, the savior of the deck at this point. Uh, Reborn, Teus, Teus, and that. Yikes. Well, it's a good thing we drew the Moray of Greed, right? How clutch. Still proving to be a clutch card in the deck. Uh, we'll shuffle away the Kaiju and the Teus, leaving us with the Reborn and... Uh, Teus. So many Teuses, man. Teus everywhere. You want to see Teus, but you don't want to see him that much, right? You don't want to see two Teuses in your opening hand. That's booty cheeks. All right, let's see. Mooling Glacia. Moray of Greed. Aqua Spirit. Okay, we're going to Moray of Greed again. This is not scripted, I swear. Actually, just random. This is not like... This happens a lot, honestly. Like, Moray of Greed into Moray of Greed into Moray of Greed. Like, it's happened a lot of times. More times than you would think, right? Happens a lot. Anybody else play my real? Any, any of you guys have this happen to you? Anyone, be honest. It's happened to you, right? Like, you just chain into Moray of Greeds over and over again? Like, it's a Moray of Greed. If, if one of these next ones is Moray of Greed, you gotta leave a like. Okay, never mind. Dislike all you want. All right. Uh, I just don't do that, please. Uh, no. Uh, let's see. We have now Osea, Megalo, one for one, and Teus. So this actually just turned into a playable hand. Uh, we don't need the going second card for, you know, if, if it was SOS, you know, we need that sixth card. We don't in this case, so that's really good. Uh, we'll go one for one, and we'll ditch Osea, because I feel like that's just the weakest card of the hand. Um... I'm, I'm trying to, like, organize my plays now by, like, what's the weakest, what's the best card, what's going to give me the most, what what plays do I know the best. Um, so we'll summon out uh, this in, like, the fourth zone, I guess, based off the last test hand. Uh, then we'll use Neptibus. Hopefully they don't have a hand trap. We've been over this. Um, and then since we already have a Megalo in hand, I'm going to add a Dragoons and add a Neptibus. So we get to sort of skip a step there. So that's really good. Uh, and then we, we might be able to make sort of like the same play. But the interesting part about this play versus the last play is, as you know, last time we had to normal summon the Neptibus. And we didn't have a Monster Reborn in hand. So that's sort of what's different. It's just we have a little more to work with this time. Last time was just bare bone, you know, two to three cards doing most of the work. Uh, but this time it's one card. I don't know, one card less doing the work. Uh, we'll summon Teus now, right next to uh, Neptibus, discard the Dragoons, add Gund, and uh, we could actually mix it up and add like a Mander, if we wanted to, because that would give us the opportunity to, when we summon Megalo, uh, to make a rank 8, so that'd be kind of cool, or rank 9 if you're playing uh, True King of All Calamities, uh, so let's add... Our options now for adding off of Teus are between these two. Um, and my option for adding off Dragoons is going to be... Let's see. If I add... Uh, so we can't add Mulan because... Or no, we could add Mulan. Let's do that. Let's just do that. Let's add this because this will be a bit different. You know, I don't want to solitaire through the entire last hand because this could pretty much just turn out to be that again. Um... So let's do this. And that's that's that right there. Now we'll summon Megalo, discard these two. We'll do Megalo 2, Neptibus 1. And search this. And we actually can make him a Starboy 2. And it's perfect because we have the monster reborn. 
uh, to go along with this. Because if we didn't have Monster Reborn or a way to get something else out of the grave, we wouldn't really be able to do the, the Moulin Glacia play. And you probably see why. It's because the Neptibus... Neptibus's Reborn effect, I'm pretty sure, is mandatory. Yeah. Yeah, you have to, so... But it's no worries, because we can simply, as I said, we can just link into uh, the Starboy. Our go-to go -to card, just like that. And then we can use uh, Mandarin Grave to banish him, because now we have six Waters Engraved, and now we have five. These will become level eight. And then we can go into, where is he... Hope Harbinger, or you can go into True King of All Calamities if you're going to run that card, if you're running Mander at all. Um, we actually didn't need to use Monster Reborn, did we? No, we did, because we had to uh, bring something out of our grave earlier on, I think. And then we summon this. I would summon him right underneath the Mistar Boy. Uh, so this is up by 500. This is up by 500. This is just doing its thing. Uh, I think we already used the Monster Reborn. Right? Uh, to set that. And, uh, yeah. That turns out to be that. Again, like I said, uh, we could have done uh, a play where we did what we did the previous test hand, test hand number two. Uh, I'll try to timestamp where the, each test hand begins in the description. So if you want to see, like, where's test hand two, what's test hand two, if you, like, skip to the middle or something, uh, they're in the description, if I remember. Uh, and then we have the sphere. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure we needed to use Monster Born, but if we didn't, we just revive like a Dragoons or something and for more damage. And then tribute with a... We can't tribute with Megalo. I just really... If there's one thing I wish they would change with Mermails is like, just let Megalo tribute on turn one. Like, just let him do it. The deck is old. Just let it... Just give it to him, right? Just let him do it. All right, we're going to do one more test hand. It's probably going to be the last test hand of the video. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle again. All right, boom, we're back. Fourth and final test hand. Here we go, test hand number four. Uh, Teus, Te Teus, please stop. Stop doing that. Just stop. Vizikiru and Sticky String. Wow. So, I mean, at best, we're making a Toad, right? At best. Six card. Jesus. All right, I guess this last hand just is a bust. Um, but we do this. We send this. Just so, just so you guys know. Re return this. Discard Teus. Summon this again. Use its effect. Blah, blah, blah. We all know how the play goes. Do that. Summon this. Go into a Toad. Like that. Let me, just, let me get the Toad so it's a fit. Oh, my God. I guess this is a sign to, to have to end the video here. And then we go and do a toad like that. We have plenty of things to stop their plays, right? And our next card draws a pike. Not terrible, right? Could be worse. Could draw into like three more A agreeds. And that. That could have been our hand, right? Could have been way worse. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, the build is updated, as you could tell from my previous deck profile, which uh, I hope you guys liked. Um,. The last, I again, I know, I, I apologize for the last test hand video, the last combo video I made. That was not up to standards how it should have been. It was rushed on my part. Um, I should have just honestly told you guys I can't make the combo video. I don't have combos to do it and have just done this instead. Uh, and I apologize for that. You guys deserve better than that. Uh, and I'll try my best in the future to make sure something like that doesn't happen again. Uh, but anyways, if you made it to the end of the video, let me hold you for a little bit longer and ask you um, If you like the video, let me know if you did it down in the comment section below um, If you had anything to add to my test hands uh, Or these yeah these test hands let me know if there's anything I missed anything else I could have done suggestions things like that for mermails um, I'm still at this point looking and considering to buy another deck. I don't know what it's gonna be yet 
Uh, one thing I told all of you, you're like, guys, you're like, winter kills, just to get, get ghost ash, dude, just, you need ghost ash. And I said, I'm not paying $90 for a card and boom, it's reprinted, reprinted coming in that tin. I'm doing an un un unboxing. I'm probably going to live stream it for all you guys to watch. We're going to live stream the unboxing. If I remember, just remember, Hey, you're going to live stream that unboxing, but don't, don't heckle me. Okay. Don't, don't hound me down. Don't witch hunt me, but we're going to, I want to try to set up a live stream to unbox to see if we can pull a ghost ash uh live on stream on twitch.tv forward slash winter kills uh we're gonna be doing that sometime in the future whenever that kaiba collection comes out and also i'm working on a shirt idea a winter kills custom made shirt for either teespring or tea public or designed by humans it's gonna be on one of those websites um so get hyped for that i'm working on a cool design uh on adobe illustrator been working on some designs and stuff like that making up a cool simple Winter Kills design. It doesn't scream YouTube. It doesn't scream Yu-Gi-Oh. It's just a nice design. Uh, it's not like this, right? It's just something more simple. And uh, it's still in the works, but let me know if you guys are excited for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time, guys.